it's me, Charlie. I'm here with Jackson Sora, and we're gonna be playing the Coffin of Andy and Lele. Oh, I love coffee. And who's uh, Andy and Lele? And, yeah, who are they? Um, they're a brother and sister. One's 20, the little sister, and the other one's 22. Oh, okay. But no, not coffee, what? it's coffin, oh. like where you put dead uh, people. Uh, I thought that was a casket. Why are no, you coughing? Well, oh, that's another word for oh. it. Anyways, let's start the game. All right. Episode, Episode one. one. The coffin. Lele, I don't want to. Well, I do. Just go over it. You. I thought she's your friend. Mom said you'd help me with anything. We'll get in trouble. Oh. Uh, good morning, Ashley. Your house is disgusting. As much as you love feeling sorry for yourself, it is time for a little interlude. It is titled, Find Nutrients to Not Die. I feel like that's what everybody does. <laughs> <laughs> that's called Ready, food. set, go! All right. Well, I'm just so, a little person. Most food is found in the kitchen. A bunch okay, of that's rented the living room. Movies. That's not nutritious. They do date past the ages ago, but what can you do? The freezer is completely empty. Okay, no nutrients in the freezer. You have no food. What about the fridge? Coffee? The coffee machine sits alone, sad and abandoned. There are only so many times you can brew the same ground, so no more Ew. coffee in this house. Oh, here we go, a stove. Inside the cabinets is... Nothing. Nothing! <laughs> hey! Da -da 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 -da. Is this my house? <laughs> You're used to filling your stomach with water. That's really sad. But it's not enough. Your body demands sustenance. Junk and unpaid bills, they cannot be eaten. This is where you and your older brother pile your trash. It's already been scavenged several times and is truly and utterly exhausted as a food source. But wait, what is that? <gasps> Got a can of tomatoes. Oh, let go! Hey! Amazing, you should show that to your brother. Ew, drink? Drink yeah. the tomatoes? Tomato juice. Delicious. What do you think V8 is? I'll look at that door later. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Oh, that's my brother. I'm gonna keep looking around. No, what? That was <laughs> that not the objective? Maybe yeah. it is, but I wanna look around. What do we find so important? Like what? Your brother is what? the important thing. It's a washing machine. So important. you should know what that looks like, Charlie. Inside are various supplies such as trash bag, the toilet. I flushed the toilet! <laughs> Nice. Awesome. I hope there was why do we, a turd in like, I don't understand why we stay in the house and be dirty. Why don't we just go outside? Balcony door is locked. That's a yeah, balcony. <laughs> okay, I thought that was... The, maybe this is the exit then. The front door won't budge. You've been locked in here for months now. Oh. What? Why am I locked for in? months? Well, at least we found my brother. Oh, we sleep in the same room. This is my bed. Hey, bro. You show him the tomato can. Ta-da. Not the reaction you were hoping for. Ta-da. You're not eating that. Uh, yeah, we are. Uh, what do you mean? Like, why? No, that's the very last thing we have, Ashley. We hid it in the garbage? What if we threw it out? I think we should hold on to it a little longer. Quit your complaining. But I'm hungry! You're energetic enough to go rummaging through our trash, so clearly you're not dying yet. Huh? How did you know it wasn't- Because I hid it there away from you! <gasps> I live in a den of snakes. No, because you could eat snakes. No. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't rile me up. You're making me hungry. Do you know what would help with that, Andrew, my dear? No, put the tomatoes away somewhere. Ah, put them in your mouth, I will. I can see your heart is set on this. Fine, let's eat them then. Screw our future selves. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah, food now! Consequences later! Um, nom, 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 nom. Time for you to go cook some tomatoes. I, I don't know how you just heat them up, I guess. Huh? Oh. I don't see the light anymore. Good day! Are you still alive in there? Hello! If you won't make a sound, I'll assume you're dead. <laughs> and I don't bring food for the dead. <gasps> He's got food! Food, 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 food! Oh, dang! Did you see how fast she moved? You don't bring it to the living either! Ha! <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Still alive. Ugh. And don't blame me for the delivery guys screwing up. We're starving in here. Can't you go grab something from, from the store for us? Nah, <laughs> not my job. I'll check in on you again later. Bye. Are you kidding me? No, wait. Well, there wait, goes Wait, wait, come back. He doesn't. Oh, well, so much for that. God dang it. Uh, oh, now what? <sighs> There's not much you can do. Boiled hey. canned tomatoes <laughs> yeah. to make delicious boiled canned tomatoes. Oh, how Yum. delicious.
there's even a little bit of pepper left to season with. This is some gourmet stuff right here. Oh, that's not yes. pepper. That's dust. No salt, though. Ah. Uh... You've used all of it to spike your water in order to avoid overhydrating yourself while drinking to fill your stomach. Oh, that's what? smart. What? What? Yeah, you never done that. No, what are you talking about? The salt will help you so that it, you absorb less water. Right, but wouldn't that make you thirsty? Yeah, but you don't you don't put a bunch of salt in. Okay. It's like just enough. How do you know this? Ah, uh, don't worry. Okay. Well, how is it? Uh, it tastes like a tomato. At this point, you could feed me a can of worms and I'd say it's the best thing I ever ate. Why don't okay, these kids wow. have money or food? <laughs> They're locked in their apartment, Jax! <laughs> No, I'm saying that's how hungry I am. It is in that moment that an ominous audio assaults your eardrums. I don't assault. Are you kidding me? The neighbor is at it again. We have neighbors and no one's helping us? Well, what if we're all locked in our places, Charlie? That oh, warden yeah. seemed like a really mean dude. That's true. Wanna go take a peek? Nope. Cause you're so busy being trapped in this house with me. But I'll come along if you do. Okay. Here, catch. Got balcony key. Oh. We can go out the balcony now. Unlock the balcony. Oh, oh that's nice. Oh, is it? Well, hmm. Can't really see squat from here. Dang. You contemplate if you should take a leap of fate towards the neighbor's balcony. Yes. Yes. It's only the fourth floor. It's not that. That's not important. Ashley, don't you even think about maybe, it. Maybe. Maybe that's why he has the key. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> ah, he's no fun. Guess you'll have to set something up to cross. I would have jumped it. What about the table? Oh yeah, you can't cross this as it is. Mm -hmm. An ashtray. There are no cigarettes left to smoke, but it's still good for bashing things in. Oh. What? What? Okay. Well, let's keep let's keep the ashtray. Uh, maybe we could throw it out a window or something. You know, if we had an exit to the outside, we could have maybe like put stuff together, climb down. Go it's check the inside. Fourth floor. Maybe, maybe there's something in there. Maybe you could use something. Um. Okay, let's look around. Maybe some laundry. No. No. Nothing. Cleaning what supplies. Like no. Plank of wood or something. Where would we find a plank of wood? Oh, the bed. Maybe a bed. Bed is not. Uh. Oh no, the bookshelf. What are you doing? Oh yeah, I broke it. What hey, got a wooden plank. Yeah. Bro, bro, don't ask me why I I broke. That's broken. Good job, Sora. Hey. Okay, here we go. Y'all are going yeah! through a lot just to see what the neighbors are doing. Yeah, it seems like it's not a good idea. Stuff. Boxes are full of useless junk. Okay, wow. Hey, if we could break into these people's houses, we could steal their food. Use the ashtray. Use the ashtray. Oh, so now it's object. called a blunt object. Ooh, we're peeking. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, demons from hell. Hear my plea. Oh, the unholy ones. I come taking your advice. Dots. Gosh dang it, what am I doing wrong? I thought this was perfect. I knew I should have killed that guy when I had the chance. Ooh. What? <laughs> well, it's not food, and we should probably leave. What do you make of that? Everybody needs a hobby, I guess. Forget this. Isn't it almost time they let us watch TV? They. they. Bothering your satanic neighbor seems like a bad idea. So <laughs> yeah. keep doing it. Probably. <laughs> Maybe I should take this down? Perhaps. Well, nah. it won't let me. We can watch TV now. Uh, the remote's dead. No! Oh, great. Just push the buttons on the TV. Meh. Nah. What a pain. Fine, I'll fetch some batteries for you. You don't even have food. How are you going to find batteries? I always have to do everything around here. That's why. Yeah, yeah. Woe is you. It is. Just sit there and do I'm going to sit cool on the couch. <laughs> I'm going to sit on the top part. I'll find batteries. Oh, look. There they are. Oh, nice. Yeah. I didn't know we had an alarm clock. Why did we have that? What's the purpose of an alarm clock when life is meaningless? No food. Well, they want to know what time it is. Why? What is your purpose? You have nothing. You're locked in this place. You have no food. What is the sense of time? Time is irrelevant. I've got the remote right here. No, nah, that's okay. I think I'll just push the buttons on the TV after all. I can see you have the batteries. Just hand them over. Nope. I've decided I'll hold on to them. We might need them later. For what exactly? Why are you being difficult about this? I am not. I am taking on the Herculean task of operating the TV myself. Whatever makes you happy, I guess. Maybe we do need the batteries later. Maybe. Probably not, though. Thank you for tuning in. Today, we share with you some joyous developments in regards to the tainted water situation. Tainted water? Oh, uh, okay, so that's why they don't have water. We're happy to announce that all apartments to which the tainted water had been delivered will be secure. Have been secured. That's good. It has been three months since the first incident was discovered, and the death toll is now at a comfy 53 total. That's kind what? of a lot. Comfy? Comfy, yeah. Comfy? 
No biggie. I think that's kind of a biggie. Nah, no biggie. And the quarantine period for those whom are at risk will have been extended by another two weeks. Uh, oh, we're in quarantine. No, so it's gonna be another two weeks without food or water? No! Again? And to our friends in quarantine, thank you for keeping your disgusting, parasite-infested bodies away f far, far away from me. Sorry, it's thank you for your continued consideration to public safety. Dying in here. That's all for today. Cheers. I'm going to bed. Yeah, as rightfully you should. I decide to do the same. A dream. Wait, Mom, where are you going? Me and your father will be staying at a hotel for a bit. I thought they said we should stay at home until... I didn't drink anything. Mom. No booze, no dirty, contaminated water, nothing. The only thing I've drank is some orange juice from a carton. Anyway, I'm going, I'm going to miss my bus. You and Andrew can join us later. All right, this won't hurt a bit. Oh, God, no. The nurse sticks a needle in you. It hurts like a <laughs> mother flipper. There we go. I think you missed. And now you. How long do we have to stay home? The results from the blood work will be done tomorrow. So if everything is well, you're free to come and go as you please after that. And if not? Then you'll get to see what happens if not. That's all for now. Take care. Stop calling me Ashley, please. If you need something, ask the workers there. I can't do anything for you. And I don't want to hear these lies about starving anymore. Lies? Not lies. Why the hell would I lie about this? Listen, this new apartment is a bit of a fixer-upper, so I'm really busy. Besides, isn't Andrew there with you? What do you need me to pacify you for? You get to laze around all day doing nothing. I don't know what you've got to complain about. Anyway, I've got to go. Please don't call me more. I won't answer. Mm, goodbye, Ashley. I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't seem sorry. She left us here to die! After reminiscing all night, you wake up. Instead of ruminating upon your own misery, you decide to clean the house up a bit. Ah, you're all doing right. laundry! I cannot believe you're ah. doing laundry. <laughs> ah! Cleaning. What a waste of energy. You're a waste of energy. Thanks. Just don't overdo it. To think of it, we even have any detergent left. I didn't so. drink it, so. Yeah, I'm looking for a drink. <laughs> You're not getting going to get this clean with your bare hands. You need the mop and bucket, Charlie. <laughs> Am I really just doing chores? You're doing chores. I cleaned up some books. You know, no so I think we can go get food while she does this. No, da -da 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 -da. Wait, what? No, don't leave me here. I'm still cleaning. What is this? Laundry? Nope, that's a blanket for the couch. Got the detergent and into the laundry. I, <laughs> you're a real pro. Yeah. Hey, you're fast too. Uh, oh, you might have overdid it. I'm feeling dizzy. I don't feel so good, Mr. Stop. Uh, Damn it, Ashley. I told you not to overdo it. Uh, oh, Charlie, you look just like her. <laughs> uh, Good news once again. Some of you may have heard from your loved ones that there's been a supply shortages in the quarantined households. Oh, I didn't hear about it. We're already on short stacks. We're on even smaller supplies. Come on. Well, boy, are we pleased to announce that all of that has been taken care of. Oh, huh? it has. Does it look like I'm eating right now? On that note, we'd like to remind all of you not to enter the contaminated apartment. No, your friends don't need anything from you. Everything is taken care of. What? Should you feel the urge to help, the staff will be administrating bullets directly into your brain as a thing. Whoa! They just said um, they're gonna shoot him! No, they're administering bullets, Charlie, please. I think that, that's the code word that's... for shooting. No, I don't think so. I hope that clears things up a bit. Moving on to our next story, a brand new art museum will be... You drift back into unconsciousness. Too tired to get the phone. Hello? Of course. What is it? Huh? The shift in the tone of his voice makes you, your, you strain your ears. No, no, go ahead. Someone is talking on the other end of the line, but you can't make out the words. They sound more and more upset as they talk, though. Well, that's, uh, I mean, I can't do anything about that. Or I could try and talk to her, but no, or, I mean, yes, but that doesn't, no, I'm, I'm not angry, I'm just, no, I, can you let me talk? The voice on the other end must have said no. It's increasingly loud, but you still can't make out the words. Always about you have done me and I that we be the thing just can't anymore. So that's it then. Now it's quiet on both ends. Well, all right, I guess. What else is there to say? Sorry. Although I really don't see why I should be held accountable for. A faint beep, beep, beep of a dropped call can be heard. <sighs> Who was it? My ex-girlfriend, apparently. Oh, she dumped you. Why is that? Why 
do you think? Uh, yeah. How should I know? Maybe because you're a parasite infested homebody that apparently perma. that's apparently perma quarantine. <laughs> or because she found someone new? I've been. it's been a few months, buddy. Or maybe she just didn't like you that much in the first place. Whatever you say, Ashley. Hmm. There might have been something more tactful to say. Whatever. You pretend to sleep until you really fall asleep again. Now you've been out for who knows how long. You figured you should check on your brother. He's still out on the balcony? Did he ever come back inside? I hope he did. He never came back! Wow. Hey, bro. He's he's upset right now. He just he got broken up with. He really did. Is that what happened? I don't know. Someone from your apartment is getting hauled into an ambulance. Oh, the, I guess the parasites <laughs> killed him. <laughs> Hi, me too! People are yelling from their windows and balconies. Oh, he won. Oh. I need help. some help too! Please! Please, I'm starving! Soon the ambulance leaves in a hurry. Don't let me surprised. They actually got that person some help. I figure I just let her die. I mean, we don't know if she's dead or not. Maybe they're just taking her to the morgue. I mean, how did they know she died? Oh, the guy who checks on you! Oh, the warden. Uh Maybe she did die. She wasn't moving. As if they'd have their sirens blaring for a corpse. Then what do you suppose was her emergency? Uh, emergency burial? <laughs> no idea. Nobody showed up when you fainted. Well, did you call for anyone? What do you think, dumbass? <gasps> Ugh, I don't know. Maybe she went into labor or something. Uh, yeah, maybe. Think they'd bring me food if I got pre- Ew. No. Nope. Let me finish. That's disgusting. How would you even get pregnant in here? Well, we do have that one charming fellow right next door. Over my dead body. He seemed a little off his rocker, so who knows? He just might end you. Forget this. Well, excuse the hell out of me for exploring my options here. Uh, uh, that woman didn't even look pregnant anyway. Maybe she's one of those women that doesn't. Whatever. It was just a thought. You'd like to go after Andrew and tell him it ain't none of his dang business anyway. But you're just too exhausted. But after sleeping for a few hours, or maybe a few days, who knows, you're, you're finally revitalized and bursting with energy. <sighs> I'm not even sleeping on the bed right. Like, uh, this is me walking around. Uh, oh, you silly lazy bones. Uh. What day is it? How long have you been locked in your apartment now? Where the hell does Andrew get the energy to make so much noise? I'm now energized. Andrew, what's going on? Why are you making so much noise? He has unscrewed the lock and is attempting to kick the door in. <gasps> or out, depending on your perspective. How many more times are you going to try that? It's clearly barred from the other side somehow. What else am I supposed to do? <gasps> oh, they're knocking! If you don't stop banging on the door, I won't bring you any food tonight. You won't either way! Says you, the delivery will be here in a matter of hours. But I guess you don't want anything. No, I don't. Yeah, that's right. Now you better stop bang, bang, banging on the door. Next time, it'll be me banging your head against the wall. The man's footsteps fade away. You think they'll really get that delivery today? Like, I didn't mess this up for us, did I? Unlikely. But I guess we'll see. And see you did. That absolutely nothing was delivered. Oh, great. It's all his fault. Sigh. Talk about something. I got nothing. Try. So, parasites. Been a few months. Feeling anything? Hunger. You think something would be happening to us by now? But I haven't noticed anything. That nurse never came back either. Like, don't you want to monitor us? Me, Ashley. I care. Well, I don't care nor care that you care. Aside from the starving, it's not so bad here. Come again? Aside from starving, I like it here. Well, I don't. I want to jump off the balcony. Ooh, I'll race you. <laughs> no, seriously, let's go. Let's not. Though I appreciate your eagerness to join. But it's a bit too romantic, so I'll pass. You shouldn't be thinking about that with your sister, dude. That's no, weird. No, no, he means romantic like the sense of the, the story of it, you know what I mean? Right. Excuse me? What? You don't see it? Ah. Just imagine hitting the ground together. And with such force, our bodies turn into a pile of gory mush. Never Ew. to be separated again. Oh, that's scary! 
idea. Our remains would get so tangled up, they'd have to bury us together in the same coffin. <gasps> That's kind of cool. Might as well. We've been confined together in this coffin of an apartment for what feels like an eternity already. I'm not jumping off the balcony with you. Get your head checked. Where? There's no doctor. I should get my head checked. That's what I said. And no wonder your girlfriend dumped you. If those are your plans for romance. Not romance. I said romantic. They're not the same thing. They're kind of the same thing. It's not the same thing. They're not the same thing. Romantic just means something is... The neighbor starts blaring his favorite ritual music for all to hear. Again? I wish he'd just... Ah! Oh, I think he succeeded. Uh, uh, you're gonna want to see this. Mm -hmm. Feel like you should check up on that. Good thing that plank's still there. Yeah. I guess he never checked out his own balcony. Maybe he doesn't have a key. Whoa! My lord, you've come. And you're uh, a little smaller than I imagined. <laughs> Cube of eye. I love it! It's better than I imagined! That's all I meant! What do you offer, human? Mm. Why does he sound like that? Um, I... I don't have much to give right now. But if you help me get out of here, I can get you anything you wish. Mm. Is that no good? As you wish, human. My lord, thank you, thank you. Perish! Mm. Huh? Did he, he just kill him? Darkness clouds your vision. You oh, he's dead. what's happening. Mm. Oh, yep. by the time your vision returns, the entity has vanished. On the ground lay the lifeless body of the cultist. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, uh. So, uh, am I already delirious, or did you see that too? Yeah, did Demon Yoda kill that guy? Do we, uh, do you want to check on him? Well, at the very least, I wanted to turn off that CD player. That's what you're concerned about? I am not listening to this for the rest of my life, Andrew. You make it sound like we're going to die any day now. Well, aren't we? Well, I'm not. There's got to be something this guy has that we can eat. Oh, burglary time! That guy's <gasps> dead. It's a so burglary. Sh sh shut up and let's get in there. The door knob taunts you from the other side of the glass. Come on, oh, Charlie. Break the you door. Know break grab. the door. Get that. Get that ashtray. It's a blunt object. Let's get that blunt object. Woo! Yeah. Oh, bathroom smells of feces and you just feel zero inclination to investigate any further. That's like my bathroom. First off, I found money. Oh, $666. wow. We had a lot of dollars, 66 bucks inside. The number of the beast. Should, should put that back. Now you've got a real moral dilemma here. Stealing a dead man's wallet, will you... Oh, split it with Andrew. Split, split it with Andrew. Split you gotta it be with fair Andrew. Aw, oh, aren't you a sweetheart? No problem, bro. I'll use some of mine to treat you to something someday, maybe. Aww. Wow. So Star. Nice. What else you got? Look in the fridge. Oh. Oh, let's see this stuff. On the counter sits some cooking equipment. That's it. We need pots and pans. Both the fridge and freezer are empty. Guess he was just as hungry as we were. Any manga? He's dead. Okay. Turn off that CD player. That's a lot of meat, you think to yourself. What? Out loud, apparently. Uh, hmm. Though, I mean, is it still illegal if we didn't kill the guy? Yeah, it, it's not the murder that's necessarily legal if you can't lose it. It's what illegal. Well, you know. Oh, you want to eat him! I. It's. Isn't that what you were insinuating? Now, nah, I was just making an observation. Sure. <sighs> But we can't. Why not? If we do eat him, then that's it for us. There's no way we wouldn't get caught once they finally let us out. But it's not like we killed the guy. But you still ate him. That's illegal. They won't know. I think just messing with the corpse is a crime, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I think they should look past it, given that there's nothing else to eat. Will the staff here admit that they didn't give us food, though? And before that, you're going to tell me a demon killed him. Really? That'll fly. Well, look at this uh... apartment. Listen, you're over thinking the hell out of this. Are we doing this or not? Uh, yeah. Andrew, I'm expecting an answer. Um, uh, uh, yeah. All right, then. Let's find something to butcher him with. I wonder. Oh, my God. Is it that big butcher knife on the counter? Perhaps. Oh, look. The closet is big enough to hide in. That's where we can go in. On the table sits a book titled Demon Summoning for the Dummies, Volume 666. Now, did they actually have, like, 665 volumes before this one? Or? I don't think so. She asked the important questions, but what... I want to know is who the hell wrote it in the first place? Undisclosed. The author must be shy. <laughs> well, either way, we can browse this later. Let's keep our focus on the task at hand. Butchering this guy. All right, let's go get the knives then, Charlie. Come on. Got a cleaver. So get the arms, handle the legs. 
it's getting a little gruesome. Left arm, right arm. I've got all five pieces of the cultist. I think I'll get the right arm first. <laughs> cultist, obliterate. Next, the left arm. Oh, we can't carry him out in the open like this. They won't know. Just be quick about it. No, can't you go get some plastic bags or something? I'll take care of the rest in the meanwhile, I guess. I'm counting on you, Andy. Don't call me that. Yeah, nobody likes to be called Andy. Come on. You hand him the cleaver. I could go, but I'm gonna watch Andy. I'm gonna watch Andy do it. I, I'll get it done, all right. Just go get the bags. Or what? Did you want to watch? I'll watch. Thank you very much. Why? Don't you trust me? Boy, are you being a little bratty today? Just let me watch, all right? Mm, um, okay then. Yeah, let <laughs> me watch you cut the guy up. Andrew readies himself, clearly averse to doing what he is about to do. Hurry up already! I'm hungry, Andy. <laughs> Oh my god, what are we doing? Wow, you did that in one go? You're really strong! You're strong, Andy. Go, Andy, go, Andy, go! Shut up, you basket case! Well, that and whatever. Better hurry up, son. It's just me, it's just some me, it's just me. Are you drooling? I'm hungry, all right! <laughs> You're gross. Go get some of those plastic bags already. Leave it to me. Okay, the plastic bags are in here. <laughs> Oh, nice. Cha-ching. I got the plastic bag. Ew, gross. I got the right arm. I got the right leg. The left leg. I got the left arm. What? What? How big are these Ziploc bags? I got the mega well, freezer the bag bags. size. They could be trapped. Hey, what? Don't leave the head now. A small problem presents itself. There's no meat in the head. Plastic bags aren't big enough to fit the whole torso in there. Crap. I don't think we can cut through the spine either. I know. Ew. We'll have to do a, a, what's it called? Just fold them over? I don't think that's going to work. Watch and learn. Yeah, see, if anyone happens to be looking out their window, it'd be a disaster. Maybe if I use two bags. Just dump them off the balcony. Listen, this isn't going to... Ta-da! <laughs> mm, <nah. laughs> Good God. No, don't make me laugh at this. I don't have the power to make you do anything, Andrew. All right, all right, enough. Gather the limbs up and go. There should be plenty enough room for them in our freezer. I'll stuff the torso and head in his freezer for now. Then I'll go cook us something more. Yeah, you'll cook quite the something. Oh, we don't have any seasonings. Whatever. They say that well, human I mean, flesh tastes salty, so I guess we don't need salt. All right. I have no one's looking out the window right now because that would be really bad for us. Da -da 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 -da. We should probably, should probably stop yelling. That would probably help. Oh, yeah. right. Time to put my new ingredients into the freezer. You place the severed limbs in the freezer. Now, which one do you want to eat? Ooh, I have choices now. I'm going to eat his left arm. Oh my god. All right, time to cook. So how are you going to prepare this? Like flambe or fry? I'm going to fry They it. don't have any oil. Fry some meat. They got human oil. <laughs> Dinner's ready. Right. So what do we have in here? We're having cultist a la left arm. Ew. Pure deliciousness is what? <laughs> Eat up. You first. Huh? What? Oh, you already, uh, okay. Oh, I, I didn't know that you were taking turns. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I thought we were just eating. I mean, oh. Eat, Andrew. You will not waste this. Uh, right. Andrew takes a bite out of your cooking. <laughs> I don't think he likes it. He begins retching. <laughs> no, you don't! Mm -hmm. Swallow all of it. Oh. Well, 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 how is it? I'm sure he loved it. It's... Huh? God, I hate picky eaters. I made this with love! So you're not leaving the table before you've licked the plate clean. Ew. Quit your nagging, woman. Then quit your gagging, you big baby. I'll eat it, all right? Just give me a minute. Under your watchful eye, he slowly finishes his plate. Good boy. I'm so proud. Mommy? Uh, just <laughs> Ashley. What an odd way to say thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thanks a bunch. Clear the table, so leave me alone. We've got a very limited set of spices left, but what do you think I should try next? Oh. I think I might have some kind of cayenne pepper mix in here somewhere. Maybe some lemon chicken? Lemon uh, pepper chicken. What? Le lemon cultist? Ugh, I don't know. Maybe coriander. All right, I'll try that tomorrow then. I'm off to bed now. Night, night. Yeah, good night. Hey, Ashley, if we ever get out of here, you really should get your head checked. Huh? Just a thought. Sweet dreams. Finally, 
you fall asleep fully content with your life decisions. You're messed up. Oh, look, it's little me. Blah, blah, blah said she likes you. Who? My friend from school. Or at least I thought she was a friend. So, are you going to be her boyfriend? Gross. No. <laughs> I should teach her a lesson. You're my brother. Mine. I'll make her think twice before stealing from another woman. Oh, yeah. You're a girl, too. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Somehow you don't count as a lady in my mind. Or as a person, for that matter. Okay, well, that's taking it a bit far. Screw you. I am the most personist lady in the world. So anyway, I'm gonna take her to that old warehouse and lock her in one of those crates. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How'd you get out so I can make sure she can't get out that way? Uh, push me in the water. No, well, probably just swim. I'll just cut her legs off then so she can't swim. Seriously? Mom gave me money to go buy groceries. Are you coming with? Focus, Andy. Let's leave her sitting there all night. That'll show her. Chill. Let's not. <laughs> you should go ask her to hang out. She won't say no then. Lele, I don't want to. Just go over there and ask her to come with you. Take her to the warehouse and we'll see what happens. What is wrong with Lele? I want to kill her. Come on. Mom said you'd help me with anything. I thought she's your friend. This is the beginning. This is the beginning of the story, remember? Oh, yeah. Well, I thought so, too. And she can be my friend again afterwards. She just needs a reminder how to do it proper. We'll get in trouble. I'll only let her out when she promises not to tell on us. <sighs> do it, Andy. I guess. <laughs> You're the best! Today's episode is titled Andy and Lele and the Lady in a Box. What do I do about these hussies around you? Where do you even learn these words? I'll take you out to play, and when I'm done, it's back into the box with you. I really ought to kick your ass one of these days. What is taking him? Wouldn't have forgotten our plans, would he? <gasps> oh, 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 finally! Huh? What are you guys doing here? Ah, I mean, I guess that's fine. Say, did you tell your mom you're here? No, why? <laughs> Just wondering. I mean, I'm surprised she let you come hang out with a boy. No way! She thinks I went study with Julia. But why are you here, Ashley? Divine intervention. What's that even mean? I'm seven. It means she's full of crap. Don't listen. So, are we going inside or what? Is that loud? I allow it. Let's find a way in right now. The drop off on the other side of the window is too high. Is something wrong? Nah, but we can't go in this way. Oh, but I got a hammer. No, you got hammer. Got hammer. Steal mallet. I can't really think of a way a mallet would be useful to us in this situation. I can think of a couple ways. I sure can. What is wrong? I don't like Lele. As in help us get in the warehouse. I think Lele is the most relatable person here. Okay. Yeah, in that case, no. Ugh, Lele, I don't even want to know what you had in mind. What are you guys talking about? It's nothing. Let's just keep looking. Okay. Why'd they nail this metal sheet thing on the wall? Looks like there's a hole behind it. Perfect! Tear it open! What? You can't do that. It's okay. I won't tell anyone. As in, I literally can't do it, idiot. Not without some tools, at least. Guess what I found on the ground? Huh, even though it's this flimsy. It's still made of metal. Yes. I, I like smart guys over beefy ones. Who asked? You use the back of the hammer to pull out the nails. Uh -huh. Wow, it sure is uh -huh. kind of dusty here. Makes me worry about my asthma. Oh, it's too bad. Oh, she has asthma. That's awesome. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, I know. How about some hide and seek? Oh, uh -huh. you're such a kid. Huh? And he wants to play too. You do? What? Oh, yeah, sure. Well, I mean, it's fun every once in a while. You totally wanted to play too, you child. I, I'll be it. I'm going to count to ten. Hundred. Count to hundred at least. Okay, okay. One, two. All right, let's find a good box to shove her in. You still want to do that? Oh, absolutely. That's like the whole reason we came here. Of course, she said no one. No, she's here. This is perfect. Lele. You promise. Now hurry up before she's done counting. We gotta find a good box. Like this one. Ooh, now this will do. There isn't any lock on it, though. Well, we don't actually want to lock her in. The hell we don't? Place a stick or something between the ring. That'll keep it closed. 
Won't the stick just break? No. Well, if she's hunched inside, I doubt she'll have the leverage to... Run now, here I come! Oh, she's already here. Ah, oh, crap, she goes too fast! I'm the counting master! It wasn't that fast, really. <laughs> Let's hide! Hide! I'm hidden. Wow, oh. what a good hiding spot. This crate can't be closed. You are failing right now. I can't find a place to hide now. I mean, where, where is she at? She said, ready or not, here I come. She should have She should have been here. Is this hiding? There we go. Where do we get a stick anyway? There's literally lumber everywhere. And he picks up whatever wooden debris is at his feet. I guess this will do. That looks like a stake. Hmm. Well, what do you think? Is she pretty? The stick? No, what do you think, idiot? She's fine, I guess. No mm. mm. oh, crap! I found you! Both of you! Who hides in the same spot is? <laughs> I did you hear it? No way. Andy stole my spot, so he is it. Yes, yes, I'll go count. Woohoo! Andy goes to count outside. <laughs> my hiding spots are the best. I know a really good one for you. Come take a look. Uh, okay. Follow me. <laughs> Think you'll fit in here? Seems like a bad idea. No, it's a good it idea. It is. How so? I'm gonna get my clothes dirty. Oh, boo hoo, who cares? My mom says she'll get mad if I. Hundred! That is impossible. Oh, shoot, he's coming! Hurry, hurry! Uh, uh, okay! Hastily, your friend hops inside the crate. Uh huh? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I got you now! She is too weak to throw you off the lid. Ah! Uh, th this isn't funny, Ashley! Let me out! There you are, Andy, you slow poke. Hurry up! She's putting up a fight! Uh, uh, I, I can't breathe! <laughs> Is she all right? Uh, uh, please, uh, uh. Shut up already, you drama queen! Let her out, Lele. She's just pretending. I don't care if she has asthma. No one's ever died from some dust. Well... <laughs> Come on, just let her out. What? You'll believe her over me? It's not really about whether I believe her or not. Fine, you let her out then. Who cares about me anyway? Uh, uh. Everyone likes her better, but you like her better too! But everyone does. I already know. Ah, ah, ah. Shut up! I bet you'd rather have a girlfriend than spend time with me. Of course you would. Oh, come on. I already told you I don't want... And bet! <laughs> bet you only hang out with me because Mom told you to. <laughs> well, that's not... I mean, maybe she did, but... <laughs> it's not fair. Why does everyone like her better? I like you better, Lele. Prove it, liar. <sighs> I knew it. Maybe you'd have more friends if you weren't always so... Not even my own brother picks me up her! I only do it all I'm <laughs> Did I not just say... La, 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 la! Talk sure is cheap! Oh, God. Ah! Yeah! Leslie! Ah! There. Are you happy now? <laughs> Just until morning, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're the best. I like you the best, Andy. <laughs> you hear that? Lenny, you get to stay there until morning. No, please! Ah! Ashley! Let me out, please! Ah! Ah! Ashley, wait! Turn! Ah! Go! Ashley, please! Ashley! Ashley, are you awake? I am now. Okay. What is it? Nothing, it's just... God, what did we do? You're still on about dinner? Fine, just starve then! More for me! How are you like this? You out of your mind? Listen, I didn't kill the guy! So I didn't do anything wrong! You mutilated and ate a corpse! What else were we supposed to do? Call the warden and let him know how he died? Ah, uh, yes. Um, sir, he summoned a demon and then died. I swear we didn't do it. Yeah, I... We wouldn't have had to admit we were there. We could have just told him to go check on the guy. Andrew, what the hell? What? What the hell? Didn't we both agree on this? I could have sworn it was your suggestion in the first place. I, I was too hungry to think straight, okay? Now that's some BS. But fine, let's assume it was so. What do you want me to do about it? I... Whoosh, whoosh. There goes my magic wand. There, I've absolved you of your sins. You never took a bite now. You're welcome. Oh, gee, thanks. See how that holds. <clears throat> we'll see how that holds in the face of the law. Listen, who cares? Uh, 
Oh. Isn't this like some extreme circumstances stuff? Like, can we be excused? It's the water company's fault. First they lock us in for months, and then they won't even feed us. And in cabin fee, mm. and is cabin fever a real thing? Maybe we can plead insanity. I don't know, Ashley. <sighs> There, there, there. You know, uh, I couldn't get his head off. Huh? Like, he didn't fit in the freezer proper. Oh. oh. Yeah. So I needed to chop his head off, but I couldn't cut it. His spine was too... Anyway, I kind of just, uh, like, kept cutting around and then pulled it off. Ooh. Oh, my God. He decapitated the body. Like, some plant. I don't know. Well, I think he had it worse than whatever I did. I, I keep thinking about it. Ugh, I can't sleep, Ashley. Come here. I don't know what's wrong with you. How are you so unbothered? I don't know. I compartmentalize. Kind of like we comp compartmentalize that guy into different freezers. Ashley. <laughs> Andrew, what is it, Andrew? Andrew, Andrew, Andrew. I told you to stop calling me that. We're not kids anymore. Then why are you crying like such a baby? I'm not crying. Wah, wah, mommy. The big bad me did the evil thing. Shut up. Make me. Ugh, forget it. Hey, Andy. Remember when we used to go on adventures? What? Andy's and Lily's quests for something or another, remember? Why bring this up? Isn't this just another one of those? I, I don't know. Can't you just play along for now? Until we're out of this crappy situation, then we can unpack it all later. Or not, I don't think I will personally. But you can go to therapy. But you can go to therapy. Like I would tell a therapist what I've been up to. All right, mm, just a thought. Let's just get out of here. Like we should have done months ago. Now that we've got food, don't you want to keep waiting until they let us out? Hell no, I don't. Throw us in jail right after. And I don't know which is worse. Whether in the coffin of a house or getting railed in prison. Ah, so you want to escape not only this quarantine, but the consequences of our actions as well. Preferably, yes. This episode is titled Annie and Lily and the Escape from the Coffin. Yeah, whatever. I'm going to sleep now. Well, I'm glad you can sleep. Good night. Sleep tight. I'll try. Good night. I love you, Andy. Shove that Andy junk. Right up your ass, Arby. God, I don't love you that much. Ugh, you make me want to bleh. So that diving down the balcony is just too romantic for you. The pillow hits you in the face so hard you see stars. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to stop right there. What do you guys think of the game so far? Um, I'm freaked out quite a bit, actually. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that eating was. people thing. You think they'll eat the other people in the other apartments? Probably. Yeah. Um. I'm worried about that demon that got out. Oh, right, the demon. Oh, I didn't even think about the demon. We've been focusing on eating flesh this whole time. And it was delicious? Delicious? Well, guys, in the comments, type down below what do you think human meat tastes like. What? <laughs> no! Yo, and we'll be taking a bunch no. of that human flesh. Remember what? to like, comment, subscribe! Yay! Let us know no, if you want to play no, more of this game! Subscribe, subscribe, guys!